What up, good people? All right, so today I want to talk to y'all about uh, minor air leaks on your truck. Um, as y'all know, I drive a Freightliner Coronado glider kit. And um, one of the things that uh, DOT can hit you for is minor air leaks, right? So on my Cascadia, um, I had a Cascadia, which I've, I've sold it. But um, one day I got pulled into the uh, scale station and they did an inspection on my truck. And um, so they do a test where they tell you to just turn the ignition on, but not turn the truck completely on. So you just turn the ignition on just to, um, you know, to show all of the lights on the dashboard right before the truck turns on. So they just tell you to turn the key and just leave the key there. And then they come around the firewall and they listen for air leaks. So, sure enough, um, on my Cascadia, there was an air leak right around this part right here. And it was a very, very small leak. Um, it's something that you can easily miss when you're doing your pre-trip. Um, so, luckily, the DOT officer was cool. He, he heard it, and uh, he told me to just get it fixed. Um, he said it was, it was a small enough leak that he wasn't going to you know, write me a citation for it. But here on this truck, I found the same leak. So I'm gonna go and turn the uh, ignition on now so y'all can see exactly what I'm talking about. So you just turn the ignition, not don't turn the truck on, just turn it to the on position just to make the lights come on. Sorry about the light, y'all. Pretty rough. The sun is shining directly into the camera, but you just turn the turn the key to the on position, right? And right here, I don't know if y'all can hear that. Right there, I got a small air leak. So. It's coming from right here at this quick connect fitting. Probably the O-ring in there is bad. So I'm gonna fix that right quick and come back. All right, be right back. All right, so I got the new valve. I'm gonna put this valve on, it's real easy. Just screw on. Might have to tighten it down a little bit. But uh, real straightforward. And uh, I'm gonna stick the holes, um, I'm gonna stick the holes back in there, and that'll be it. And then uh, I'll come back and we'll do another air test. All right, y'all, so here we go again. I'm gonna turn the key to the on position. See the lights coming on? All right. And now there's no air leaking. So, that's it. Um, this is one of those things you want to check for because DOT will, DOT will snag you for it. Here's the old one. Um, this little, I'm guessing it was leaking up in there. It's a gasket in there that probably went bad or whatever. I could have just probably changed the gasket, but I didn't feel like going through the headache. Um, I actually tried and I couldn't get it out without breaking it. So I was just like, I'll just get a new one. So, I mean, the piece, the piece was less than five bucks. So it wasn't no big deal. So anyway, got that done now. It's not leaking anymore. So uh, just um, when you're doing your pre-trip, you're walking around your truck, just turn that key to the own position and come down here and listen because it's one of those areas that that gets overlooked a lot all right i'm out peace